So I was asked about making this kind of animated up and down wavy text effect like this. I'm not going to focus on the 3D character part. I uh, should be able to replicate what I've done uh, to convert 2D text into 3D characters. Uh, that wasn't one of the requirements of, uh, uh, of this animation. So you can see it's kind of animating up and down. It's flowing uh, nicely like that. Um, each character is kind of animating by itself. So we can look at doing that in Adobe After Effects. I'm going to go up to the top and grab the horizontal type tool and start typing on the stage. So I'm just going to go sample text. And with how this is set up, it's a nice uh, big size. I've already set up uh, the size of the text. And uh, I've made a very large space in between the characters uh, just with this, uh, this tracking uh, slider here. You can kind of space the characters out nicely. Um, one thing is that it's very nice uh, and easy if the, the characters line up vertically like this here. This N and this G are kind of right above and below each other. Um, so just to keep things simple, it'd, um, it'd be nice to, to animate um, uh, kind of vertically like that, or we could do a little more work and, and kind of uh, tweak all the characters so they, they look uh, nice by themselves. But I'm just going to wind out the, the text part of it, just kind of make those characters line up a little nicer. It kind of lines up better with the T. That's pretty close, that T to the A there, something, something like that. I'm happy with that. Okay, so the first problem is uh, I go to transform this, and, well, it's just going to move up and down all at the same time because <laughs> it's obviously one text layer. So it's just going to move by itself. So uh, we can go in here, right-click on our sample text layer and um, create shapes from text. And what it's done is it's actually hid this layer that uh, I was previously working on, so I can get rid of that. I can even delete that. Uh, I don't need that anymore. Now we just have our, our text layer. So uh, in here... We can go into contents and you can now see, hey look, here's an individual layer for each of our letters of our text. So that's pretty cool. Um, so we can start animating uh, and, and building that animation that we saw here. One of the things, uh, like I said, is the vertical columns are gonna kinda animate together. So I can start by uh, grouping these together And how did I do that before? There we go. Uh, layer uh, group shapes is what I want, or control G. So I'm going to do that for each of them. So the M and the E. I control G. Make sure I got the right. Oh, <laughs> I messed that up. I grabbed the wrong, the wrong E. So I'll just uh, control Z, undo that. Let's try again. A and first T. Uh, control G to group. M and the second E is what I want. Just make sure. The P and the X. And the L and the T. There we go. Okay, so all my groups are set up here. Great. So, um, what I can do is I can grab... Um, let me see. So all all of these groups are selected. I want to see. Um, I'm a bit of a noob with uh, <laughs> with After Effects, so forgive me. But I want to see if I um, if I animate the position, if it animates across all of them when they're selected. Yes, it does. So I'm gonna keep that at zero. I've clicked on the little clock, and as I go across, oh, I see. <laughs> I want it to be at zero. Okay, so it's at zero now. I've hit control Z. So I've hit the little clock um, at the zero point. I want to go across. So I have a keyframe there and I'm going to move everything down. And uh, go across. Move it back up to zero. Okay, so everything's animated there. So everything has its own little keyframes and you can see that they're they're kind of kind of grouped up like that. You can see everyone's little keyframes. Okay, so that's what I want. And uh, I'm going to hide transform on S. We're going to call that that animation good. And uh, well, actually, what we want to do, so it's a little, it's a little kind of janky right now because it's not, um, it's not smoothing in and out. So I got to remember how to do that.
Anyway, someone with more <laughs> more After Effects can remind me how to smooth in and out from these uh, from these animations. I forget. I forget how to do that. Yeah, there we go. Okay, ease. Yeah, let's just go easy ease. Because I'm lazy. Okay, let's see how that looks. Yeah, it's not bad. I only got some of them somehow, though. Anyway, you get the point. Uh, you can go through and, um, and set up the easing. There's there's other uh, there's keyframe velocity and and this kind of stuff. Um, anyway, I'm not I'm not too concerned with uh, with whether the the smooth part. I just want to focus on the actual animating. So um, the key point though is now that I've got these uh, keyframes all in here, I'm assuming that you know you're gonna go in and and set them up and get them to look all smooth and and jazzy and how you want. Oh, maybe I just gotta hit this here. Anyway, you'll get them all, all pretty and, and smooth and, and the way you want. And then now at this point, all I have to do is just stagger them. So I can select these, uh, these keyframes here. And I can pull them, pull them across a couple frames. Then I grab the next ones. Pull them across a few more frames, right? Stagger them, in, maybe not that many. Something like that. Grab these ones. Ah, I don't know what I'm grabbing up there. I'm scared. I don't want to grab it. Okay, I'm doing like, like that. Like I say, I'm sure there's a much better way to do this, but the um, point is we can just manually edit these keyframes a little bit and uh, should do, do the business. So as we animate across now, something like that. And so... All we have to do at this point to get the repeating effect is just copy all these keyframes. Should just be able to go Control C, Control V, I hope. Nope. Hmm. Anyway, I'm sure there's a way to, to just copy these keyframes. Um, in any case, uh, if, yeah, I, I don't know, maybe I messed up, maybe you can't copy the keyframes. Um, but if, um, if you wanted to keep repeating, all, uh, the, a very simple way to do it is just, uh, uh, just to repeat as many times as you want on the first uh, layer that you edit. And then, um, then when you are staggering them, just you, you'll have more keyframes to select and, and stagger them. And uh, then you'll get your your kind of animating just like that. So hope this helps. <laughs> it's uh, it's kind of janky, but uh, I I think it uh, with with some time it, it could uh, look pretty good.